Let's talk about piecewise defined functions. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is what's up. Piecewise defined functions are functions that, they are functions, which means you plug in a value, you get one value out, but they have conditional statements here. Um, here's a really easy one. I always think about going to CC's, which I don't do now because, well, when you have someone who has a gluten intolerance, you don't go to CC's anymore. <coughs> Unless you go when they're not looking. I'm going to go on to the grocery store. I'll be back in about uh, two and a half hours. <laughs> My parents want to Where are you going? Weekend. Did it hurt your feelings? It did. No. Sorry. Yeah, you know, I went to CC's and I was like, what? <laughs> Here's the thing. Suppose I say this. I say, I'm just going to make it nice and easy. Here's an example of a piecewise defined function. <coughs> if we're talking about the cost based on, let's say, somebody's age, have you ever been to a place where the cost is different depending on how old you are? Yeah. Yes. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's so stupid. <laughs> now, so this right here, it, it's zero if x is less than five. <coughs> does, that, does that make sense? You know, if you go to CC's and, you know, say your kid is less than five years old, they eat free, right? And then when they're between the ages of five and 12, maybe it's $5. And then once you hit 12, all of a sudden you're eating a lot more, so they charge you more, right? <laughs> Except if you knew my son, you would probably be charging him <coughs> this and not the five. I'm just saying, we, we, we rob them blind. Are you, oh yeah, have as much as you want. Oh, that's your 20 second piece? Got no problem with it. Make them feel the pain. But you understand that if you walk in, you don't get paid, you don't pay two different prices, do you? You pay according to how this is set up. So when you look at the wall and it tells you those age restrictions and the prices, it's a piecewise defined function. I want you to go to buffets, whether it's Golden Corral, CC's, Double Dave's, whatever. We should take, we should take a field yes, trip. let's take a field trip. Right now, let's go. Stop the video now. Let's go. Quick. Oh my God, are you good? CC's, Go. Now, yeah, I know you. I know you would go, but I car I didn't have breakfast. So let's go do it. But here, here's the thing: when you see that the, the price on the side, I want you to think about piecewise defined functions from now on. <coughs> you gotta be like, wait a minute. Okay, let's see. How was the fried chicken and all the good food? Focus on a two dollar difference. I say my 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 nephew is eleven, so he's greater than or equal to five and less than 12, that means this is his price. Thank you, piecewise defined functions. <laughs> now you could also set something up if you work an hourly job and you like getting overtime. You know what I'm talking about? Well, what do you mean? Your pay is based on the number of hours you work, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Suppose you get paid twenty-five dollars an hour. Oh, I am living large. If I so that I get paid twenty-five H, right? Cost per hour times number of hours worked, right? Now this is only going to be if your hours worked is what? Less, 40 or less. less than or equal to forty. What is it once you get to forty? So what would time and a half be for this one? 37 and a half, right? If I say, if I say this, if I say 37.5 H, if H is greater than 40, you're going to be wrong. It can't be equal to, you're right. But it's not going to be this guy right here. Because this is saying, suppose you work 50 hours, right? If H is equal to 50, does that mean all 50 are at that price? No, time and a half only applies to what? So it's if, if H is greater than 40. So the, the second one is 37.5, it's only 12.5? It's not, no. You do get paid 
37 and a half dollars, but how would you figure out how many hours you actually get paid that amount? Do the 40 minus 40 minus H. 40 40 minus H. If you say 40 minus H, that's 40 minus 50. So you're going to get paid negative 10 hours? No. You're going to have to do a bracket in there with the, the hours work minus 40 to give you an answer. Thank you. To then, yeah. The number of hours less the first 40 right. is how many are paid at the time and a half, right? So, yeah. Plus, at this point, if you have already worked 40 hours, you have already earned. 25 times 40 dollars, right? Mm. Mm. It's so much easier to do it just think about it like right But what I'm trying to give you here is something that is a function, something that's a piecewise function. So you no, can I take understand that. I'm just saying it's like so much easier to calculate how much you make. Yes. Like yes, there are a lot of situations where it's a lot easier, but I want you to think about how it's constructed. <laughs> Probably you worked well 40 hours at $25 an hour. This represents the excess over 40 mm -hmm. times the time and a half. What if H was less than, what if H was 30? Does that mean you get a negative number here? Right. If H is 30, this guy doesn't even apply. If H is 30, you would use this guy because you look at the conditions. You use this guy when? When the hours worked are less than or equal to 40. When do you use this guy? Greater. When you work more than 40 hours. Are you guys with me on that? You only plug it in one time. Because if you plug it in two different places, you get two different answers, and that is not a function. A function says you plug in one number, you get out what? One number. One number. So let's make sure that we do that. Calculate.